Bible said today is a day of salvation, not to put it off till tomorrow, for we know not what tomorrow holds for us, but we know who holds tomorrow in his hand, and that's Jesus. Praise be to God. If we lived a hundred years, it'd just be a short time, because the Bible said a thousand years as one day with the Lord, and one day as a thousand years. So we can't compare time to God. Praise be to God. God said he, that, he, that he would die for you upon an old cross. The scripture says and the Bible said that he went and he hung upon the cross and he shed his blood, every drop of it, for me and you. Are they sang a song, one drop for me. Praise be to God, he shed it for all of us. Every drop he had in his body, it run out for me and you today. I would ask you today, if you're not a child of God, that you would take a heed to what God's word said. The Bible said we ought to give the mourners heed to the things that we hear. At least any time we should let them slip from us. Praise be to God. If you let God's word slip from you, children, you've lost it all. Because the Bible said there's a coming a judgment day, the Bible says. Praise be to God. It says when the small and the great will be gathered together before the God, praise be to God, and it said the books will be open. Right here is the books that's going to be open one of these days. And the Bible said we'll be judged out of these books. And it said another book will be opened, and that's the Lamb Book of Life. Praise be to God, if your name's not found in the Lamb Book of Life, the Bible said you'll be cast into outer darkness, into a place called hell, where there is, is fire and brimstone, gnashing of teeth. I often think about people that's been in a hospital Praise be to God, it's got cancer. You can hear them crying out, wanting some relief from the pain they got. Well, I'm telling you, if you get into hell, children, you'll know a chance to get out of there. Why? Because the Bible said, once you're there, you're there. Praise be to God. And when the master shuts the door, that's it. I often think how that Noah, but he went about preparing the ark. Praise be to God. He prepared it just like God told him. And when God shut the door, that was the end of it. Nobody could get in. That's where it's going to be when Jesus come back, when he declares time no more, or when death comes upon us. That's the reason why the Bible said, examine yourself, whether you'd be in the faith or not. It's not up to me to examine you. I just barely can't give myself a, a judgment, praise be to God. But I know one that will judge us all, and his name is Jesus, praise be to God. And the Bible said, look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, Praise be to God, if we, if we go down into the grave a sinner, praise be to God, that's the way we'll raise up. Why? Because the Bible said, Jesus said, if you die in your sin, where I am, you can't come. Praise be to God, if we need to get rid of our sin, we need to ask Jesus to forgive us. He said, if you had asked, he said, he would no wise cast you out. Come unto me, all ye are labor and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take your yoke upon me and learn of me. Praise be to God, it's the time that our country turns back to God. There's so many things going on in our world today. Drugs is killing our children. We need some prayer warriors that will gather around and get down on their knees and begin to pray and ask God to deliver them from the things that they're in. All them kind of things is of Satan. Praise be to God. He's the one that wants to destroy our children. He's the one that's destroying our country. Look at what's happening. Floods earthquake in the verse banner but it, the bible speaks of it the bible said when you see all of these things coming to pass it's sorrow just beginning praise be to god people today they never think about their soul where they're going to spend eternity well you better be a look and i tree i said you need to look at your life james said our life is just like a vapor it pures for a little while and then it's gone Praise be to God, seemed like yesterday I was sitting on my mommy's knee. My mommy and my daddy both were laying up around the mountain buried in a grave. And I know it's coming to me. I can feel it by these old bones. Praise be to God. When I get up, it takes me a while to get started. Praise be to God. These old bones ache and hurt. My hair has left me. My teeth is falling out. Praise be to God, but I got something to look forward to. I know who, who lives, and that's Jesus. I know right my Redeemer's liveth, praise be to God, forevermore. And one of these days, if I just endure to the end, the Bible said, the same shall be saved. We can't start out for the Lord and then fall away. The Bible says, hold it in truth, endure to the end. The same shall be saved, praise be to God. 
we can look at churches. I remember when I was a little boy. Praise be to God, John D. Payne had a church up there beside the road. You'd go down there and you couldn't even get in the building. People would be, the church would be full. People all outside. Praise be to God. But today, very few. But the Bible said there's going to come a great falling away before the end of time. I know the Bible said we're living in the last days. When Jesus went back to the Father, the last days begin. Because when he comes back, he'll declare time no more. Praise be to God, and he's coming back after a people that's made themselves ready and is washed in the blood of the Lamb. Praise be to God. That's got their sins on the blood. The Bible says, and it said it means you've been baptized into Christ has put him on. Praise be to God, people don't think you have to be baptized. Why are you ashamed to be baptized for them? When the Lord commanded that we do it, he said, Go ye into all the world, preach the gospel to every living creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Praise be to God. That's a commandment from the Lord Jesus Christ. And we are not to be ashamed to do it. He said, If you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed to confess you. If you're ashamed of me to confess me before men, I'll be ashamed to confess you before my Father, which is in heaven. Praise be to God. I used to be scared to... We used to have a, about every one of them. They went to school. They had an old spelling bee. They'd make you stand up, and if you couldn't spell the word, you had to sit down. Wasn't no use me get up there. Praise be to God, I'd get scared, and forget what I know. Praise be to God, but now I'm shouting a victory for the Lord. I'm not ashamed of the gospel, Paul said. For it is a power of God to salvation. Praise be to God to all them that love the appearing of the Lord. Do you love the Lord today? I hope you do. I hope that you love the Lord. I hope you're seeking the things of God. He said, lay your treasures up in heaven. For where your treasures are, your heart will be also. Praise be to God. How many of you is laying up treasures for the Lord? How many of you is telling your children about the Lord? The Bible said, I failed him. Listen, I failed him. And it hurts me. I had a son. Leslie, he went to school with Tommy here, praise be to God. And, and they used to be good buddies, and they'd draw. And Leslie, my fa father-in-law and my mother-in-law, they'd take him to church. He'd say, Daddy, said, go to church with us. I said, no. After I joined church, I said, Leslie, I said, come go to church. He said, Daddy, I said, you remember when I asked you to go to church with me? Boy, you're talking about cutting you to the bone. Praise be to God, that'll cut you to the bone. I'm worried about his soul, Tommy. I'm, I'm hoping he's coming to the Lord. Praise be to God. He don't drink. He don't do none of that kind of stuff. Praise be to God. He's a hard worker. But if he dies without the Lord, he's going to hell. That's all plain I can tell you. Praise be to God. There's things we got to do. There's things we got to do. I love him. I hate to see him go to hell. I love y'all. I hope that we can all be into heaven together. Praise be to God, what a time that'll be when everybody be shouting and singing and worshiping the Lord. There was another part of that song that Dolly sang about I am blessed. Boy, we are a blessed generation of people. We live in a country, the greatest country of all. Praise be to God, it is. And it talks about the flag that stands for freedom. And some have given their life for it, for me and you to have freedom. Some... Some have given some, but some have given all. They've given their life for me and you. How blessed we are to live in a country, children, where, where they have given their life for us. Do you ever think about the soldiers and pray for them, that, that God will bless them to come home to their family? Have you ever think about how your freedom, how blessed you are to live in this country? I know a lot of people like to put it down, praise be to God, but it was founded on religion, praise be to God. But people has turned their back on God. They're looking for other things out there today. They're not looking for the things of God. They want the worldly thing. But I'm telling you today, the Bible says that there is pleasure in sin. It sure is, but just for a little season. Where will you spend eternity, I'm asking you today? Where will you spend eternity? Forever and ever. The Bible talks about a king that began to send out invitations to a wedding, begging people to come. Listen, the message is going out for somebody here today. The message is going out. God send you an invitation today. 
if he's convicting you in your heart, if, if, he, if he's touching you today, today is a day. Praise be to God, we don't know what's on tomorrow. We don't know if we'll ever get another chance to accept him. Listen, the young dies well as the old. I see in the paper a little girl, Kennedy girl, I don't know what her name was, died up here at English. Hope. I got a little niece and nephew that got, had two children. She was having twins. She began to hemorrhage oh, okay. and she lost the one. The other one was born early, weighed two pounds. But I'm so thankful that God's still holding it on. Praise be to God. They, they're loving it and they're holding it and they're kissing it. I would ask you today, if you know today would be your last day up on this earth, what would you be doing? Have you told somebody today that you loved them? Somebody that you love, have you told them today that you love? Have you told somebody, I forgive you for the things you've done for me? Listen, Jesus, I forgive you. The Bible said for all manner of sin. All manner of sin. See, everything except blaspheme against the Holy Ghost. I'm going to tell you this little tale. About 2,000, everybody was declaring time no more. Praise be to God, we had a bunch of them come to church, and they began to seek God. And they wanted to be baptized. Praise be to God, but soon as they see the world wasn't coming to an end, where are they at? I think we got one still coming. Praise be to God, there's a time coming, children, that he is coming back. Where is the promise of his coming? I don't know when it is. All I know is coming back, just like the Bible said he is. And I believe it with all my heart. And I'm seeking Jesus. And I hope today that you're seeking him too. That you've got your mind made up. I had cancer. I'm going to tell you this. I had cancer. They told me, he said, Jimmy said, you got cancer. My wife, she began to cry. And she said, I don't want you to have cancer. I said, I don't want it neither. I don't want that cancer neither. But I come sleep all night long. All I could think about, I'm going to die. I went over to work, and I had my little Bible. And I went back into my bathroom, and I began to pray to God to help me. Praise be to God, the Bible said he'll give you peace past all understanding. Listen, I ain't been worried about it since. Praise be to God, if it comes, it comes. Praise be to God, but I got a better place to go, children. The Bible said there's a rest for God's people. Praise be to God. He said uh, he had no pleasure in the death of a sinner. Praise be to God. He wished all would come to repentance. It's not his ple pleasure that any should go into hell. That's the reason why he died up on the cross for us. Look to Jesus today. I, I would beg you to. Praise be to God. There's a time of coming that we may not never get another change. I was praying one night. I was praying to God about 2 o'clock in the morning. My grandson was sick, and I was praying to God to help him. And I began to...